here you have two pictures on the right you have an aeroplane flying high in the sky and on the left you have few people trekking in a mountain which is covered with snow these two pictures have something in common what is that it is high altitude today's topic is on high altitude physiology objectives at the end of the session the student should be able to describe the changes in barometric pressure and partial pressures of gases at high altitude the physiological changes that occur in our body at high altitude the high altitude illness and give their physiological basis of treatment the common high altitude illness or acute mountain sickness and chronic mountain sickness this comes under the competency py 6.4 i repeat so this is the layers around the earth you call it as atmosphere troposphere is the segment at which the human activities are there beyond that there is not much of human activity you can see the aeroplane flying within this zone the peak of almost all the mountains are well within this zone according to dalton's law the pressure exerted by a mixture of gas is equal to the sum of partial pressure of each gas in the mixture this we all know what happens at high altitude is today's topic it was paul bert a french physiologist who studied the relation of oxygen tension to physiological process it was his study which gave an idea about the physiological changes that occur at high altitude and the basis for these changes up to 10000 feet say 3000 meters we call it as the safe zone of rapid ascent this classifies the high altitude most of our activity are occurring within this height only at 18000 feet that is around 5500 meter it is the upper limit of permanent human inhabitation and beyond this life is endangered and without oxygen supplementation it is very difficult to survive the composition of air changes as we ascend up is the composition changing or the partial pressure alone is changing that's the question here the percentage of gases remain the same at high altitude we all know as we ascend up the barometric pressure decreases the percentage of gases each gas remains the same therefore the partial pressure of each gas alone is decreasing in this picture you can see here you have the height in meters and height in feet on the right side you have the partial pressure of oxygen and on the left side you have the barometric pressure as the height increases what happens the barometric pressure decreases at the sea level the barometric pressure is around 590 as the height increases we can see the barometric pressure decreases as the barometric pressure decreases you can see the partial pressure of oxygen also is decreasing what happens to the partial pressure of gases within the alveoli at high altitude we all know the water vapor pressure remains the same why it is going to remain the same as the air is breathed in what happens it is getting humidified what is the basis for this humidification the humidification is by adding up of the water vapor to the inspired air humidification is decided by the body temperature even when you ascend to high altitude the body temperature the core temperature of the body is maintained at the normal range therefore the water vapor pressure will not increase normally after humidification 47 mm of mercury water pressure of water is adding up into the inspired air so this is not going to change coming to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide this again remains the same even when you are moving to high altitude the metabolic activity will not change it will either remain same or it may increase the partial pressure of carbon dioxide 
in the alveoli is decided mainly by the metabolic carbon dioxide output. As the body is going to maintain its metabolism, the amount of carbon dioxide, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide within the alveoli is going to be the same as in the sea level. Therefore, the water vapor pressure and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is not going to change. We all know as we ascend up, the barometric pressure around us is going to decrease. Therefore, the compromise is going to be with the nitrogen and oxygen. Therefore, partial pressure of oxygen and nitrogen decreases as you ascend up to the high altitude. Our OT Udagamandalam is at 2240 meters above sea level. The highest hill station lay of Ladakh region in Kashmir is at the height of 3505. So, we can safely ascend up to this level with the partial pressure of oxygen within the physiological limit. What is hypoxic hypoxia? We have seen already. Hypoxic hypoxia is the condition where the tissue oxygen level is going to decrease secondary to a fall in the atmospheric oxygen or something wrong with the ventilatory mechanisms. Here, when the saturation, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and oxygen is within normal limit in the alveoli. Here you can see the partial pressure of oxygen is 104. There is oxygenation occurring. The partial pressure of oxygen in the blood leaving the pulmonary capillary is 104. What happens when you move to high altitude? When we move to high altitude, the partial pressure of oxygen is going to decrease. Therefore, the amount of oxygen, the partial pressure of oxygen in the venous blood, the pulmonary vein will be carrying the oxygenated blood. The pulmonary vein will have a partial pressure of oxygen around 60 only. This is what is happening when you move to high altitude.